guys, what's up? It's DSilver17 here, and today I have my MacBook Pro Retina 2014 review. Just as a disclaimer, I've been using this for, I don't know, say about a week, maybe a week and a half. And I've really begun to like it. Uh, let's just start with the design. I mean, this thing is absolutely flawless. It came with the unibody uh, aluminum design, and um, yeah, I mean, it feels really nice in the hand. I like that cold feeling when you pick it up in the mornings. It's nice and solid. Um, yeah. Side here to start, you can see we have the MagSafe 2 adapter, your Thunderbolt 2 port, another Thunderbolt 2 port, a USB, whoops, a USB 3.0 port, and a headphone microphone jack. And uh, over here you can see we have dual microphones, and as we flip this around to the front, you can see that we have the cutout for your thumb to kind of, you know, open it up easier with one hand and I find that actually very useful um, and on this side here you can see starting from the left we have the SD card slot and then in the middle here we have the HDMI adapter and on the back I mean um, on the last last port here is another USB 3.0 port and as you flip it around you see we have the the nice hinge and there's kind of a lot of venting kind of going around all along the hinge feature I find really cool about the uh, MacBooks is how the Apple the Apple logo lights up on the back. That's a li another little tidbit that Apple just kind of throws in there to kind of make the whole experience kind of complete. And overall just adds for a way better experience. Even though it might not seem a lot, it's always that iconic glowing Apple logo on the back of a laptop that kind of symbolizes it being a Mac. We actually opened the, uh, the device up here. You can see we had the nice backlit chiclet style keyboard. Very nice key travel, and uh, pen over here a little bit. We have the nice glass, all glass trackpad, and I think it's just probably one of the best trackpads on a laptop that you can ever kind of put. And uh, of course, you have that beautiful large 13-inch Retina display, and I and I think that um, it's it's fantastic. I mean, there's there's nothing really I can kind of complain about with the Retina display. The colors are accurate, the contrast sticks out, the brightness is perfect. It can it it can get really bright. It get up to kind of it can get up to almost glaring, like blinding, and then it can go down to almost this kind of subtle thing, and then it can actually go completely off. I keep mine around middle. I'd say about that. And that's pretty good. And um, it has those dedicated keyboard keys for that. It has your dedicated keyboard key for um, you know, like multitasking and like all that, and your dashboard for the keyboard lights. As you can see here, let's give an example of this. You go really bright. It's probably, that's the brightest it can go. And then if you go all the way down, it can go completely off. Or like on the first one, there it is. And um, uh, yeah. So, I'll say the speakers on these are actually really good and surprisingly good for a laptop. Uh, these aren't those crummy speakers that you usually get. These are nice speakers. They can get pretty loud. The bass is pretty good. I, I, I'll, I'll say they're good. I mean, Obviously, I'm going to hook up maybe at my desk, maybe an external external speaker, but I mean, that's just like me. I prefer external speakers over almost anything. In terms of how thin this is, as you can see here, it's extremely thin. I don't exactly have the number, but yeah, it is a, it is really thin, and um, it's kind of hard to imagine how much power is packed into that. I mean, you figure all these big, ginormous desktop computers, and they're shrunken down into a laptop form, and the, uh, the MacBook Pro does a really good job at that. I mean, it's very thin, very lightweight, and um, yeah, I have the baseline Retina model. It's the i5 2.6 gigahertz, 128 gig SSD, and 8 gigs of RAM, and it comes with Intel Iris Pro. I mean, Intel Iris graphics. The 15 inch has the Intel Pro Iris Pro graphics, and um, yeah, the Iris graphics hold up very, very nicely, and. Um, the i5 CPU was just fine for me, and the 8 gigs of RAM kind of suited my needs. And the 128 gig SSD really didn't matter to me because I was going to buy an external hard drive anyway and just store all my media on there. In terms of raw numbers, for those number crunchers out there, I, I'm running Geekbench 3. Um, I'm running the trial version, though. I don't really want to pay for it. I got the 32-bit Intel version running on here. And, uh... Yeah, for Geekbench uh, 3, the web browser thing, I got a single core score of 2843 20, and a multi multi core score of 5983. So, yeah, guys, I mean, 
it's kind of it from my review. This is a very nice laptop for those who really want to video edit on the go. Those who just kind of like a high power machine. Um, if you do any sort of photo editing or music editing or like coding or anything like that, I really think this is probably the best laptop you can buy on the market right now. I think that it comes with iMovie, iPhoto, all that. I think it just makes the experience of Apple. It's an Apple product. You're, you have all that Apple support with you. Connects to all your Apple devices. I mean, it's just a whole ecosystem that you really can't uh, avoid whenever you buy an Apple product, not even just the MacBook. And I think, I really think that this is probably the best. I will say, I, I think this is the best laptop on the market for the money right now. So, guys, that's kind of it for this video. I mean, Depending how much support this video gets, I might be posting a MacBook review after maybe like two months, six months, maybe even a year. Continue my thoughts and coverage as they kind of gain because like there's obviously is I'm obviously going to form new opinions after maybe a week or so after this video is built. So I'm thinking maybe in a couple weeks just post something else about it, just an informational kind of video to kind of uh, uh, give, give some more of my thoughts and the more thoughts I kind of developed about it. And, uh, yeah, guys, as always, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Be sure to support this video. Share it. Helps me out a lot. And, uh, see you guys.